Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at another way that Keynote can be used as an advanced video tool. So iMovie has lots of limitations. It's a great tool and it's very easy to use, but for instance, in picture in picture, you can only have one other video on top of your existing video. So you can combine two videos at the same time, but no more. Well, with Keynote, you can actually put multiple videos on the same slide. So you have the ability to put three or four or even more videos on a slide and have them all play together. And then you can export that as video. So here's a simple way, for instance, to combine four videos in one using Keynote. So in Keynote, I'm just going to create a new document from a theme. I'm just going to use the black background here and then I'm going to get rid of the default text so I have a blank canvas to work with. Uh, let's set the view to 75% so I can see the entire slide. Now I'm going to drag some videos to it. So in the finder here I've got four videos I want to drag and I want to have them appear at the same time. I'm going to select all four. Uh, these are just standard QuickTime movies. Drag them all in and they'll appear. Now while I have them all selected I'm going to go to the inspector and I'm going to shrink them all so they fit better. Right now they're pretty large so I'm going to create them where they're 360 in width. So now I've got all these videos here and I'm going to arrange them so that they fit all together in a nice grid. But first let's take a look at them and figure out which one goes where. Uh, I'll look at this one here. This is me in the upper left. So I can see that's the upper left video that I want to use. So I'm going to put that one here in the upper left. Uh, this one should be upper right. This is me in the lower right. No, nope, it's lower right. So I'm going to stick it down here. And this one down here should be the upper right. This is me in the upper right. So I'm going to move that one up there and then that means this one's down here. Now I can use the guides in Keynote to really easily lock these on. So for instance I'll lock this one that way, this one across here, and this one will lock in a nice grid. Let's move these closer very easily. There we go. So now I have them all together and when I play them I should uh, they should all play at the same time in a nice sequence. Now it doesn't really work very well when you just play them here, just play and it kind of previews it. The audio is a little out of sync. It doesn't quite work. So um, what does work really well is to export. I'm going to go to File Export and here it's got the time to basically render each video and make sure every frame is perfect. Whereas playing it in real time it has trouble keeping up with four high definition videos playing at the same time. I have to go to fixed timing for the export here. I'm going to do quick time export fixed timing because I'm not going to advance manually through the slides. And I know these videos are uh, about 12 seconds long each one of them. So I'm going to do a 12 second duration for the slide and I'm going to export at full quality. I'm going to make sure I have audio on because I want to export these with the audio in them. And then I'm going to go here and export it to the desktop and you can see the export happen and it will render each frame and you actually see the rendering happen here. It will take a little while. So now let's take a look at the finished product. This is me in the upper left. This is me in the upper right. This is me in the lower right. And this is me in the lower left. So now of course this is nothing special if you're used to using a tool like Final Cut. You can do this in Final Cut easily. But if all you have is iMovie and you have Keynote or just get Keynote for things like this then you can use it once in a while to do it. And you don't have to do it with four videos in the corners either. You can arrange it any way you want. You can make one video fill the space and put two or three videos in different spots along it and have them appear on different slides, do different timings, all sorts of things. So you can actually combine going from slide to slide and then also having different videos appear at different times to create some sort of complex videos that you just can't do in iMovie. It's a creative process so you have to experiment with the different videos and putting them on slides together and come up with something that you like. But I hope you found this useful. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.